Meet Steve Zaros, a college sophomore and like many others his age, a student who uses Adderall as a study aid. All it took was a friend's suggestion. I heard that like Adderall's like magic and stuff, so I was just like, oh like, can I have one? So he gave me one I got an A minus on it. And it was like the first A I'd gotten at college. In 2010, over 18 million prescriptions were written for Adderall and related drugs. That's about a 14% increase from the number of prescriptions written in 2009. Today, drug companies face shortages. It all comes down to the pressure to succeed. Now you have to get like a 3-5 at a really good school and have like be like on an e-board of like two different clubs and like have like multiple jobs and internship and even then you still might not get a job. Dr. Lorraine Wolf, the director of disability services at Boston University, says Steve is not alone. She estimates that as many as a quarter of students, 18 and older, have at least tried it. College students perceive this as giving them the edge to get those A's, to stay up all night and, you know, write that, that paper uh, rather than handing it in late. And when they're pressed for time, users say it works. You can just read a textbook for hours and it, it doesn't get boring and you're so focused. It helps you just zone in and focus for as long as you need to. But Zaros took it one step further when he chose to write an academic paper on the subject. Yeah, the topic of the paper was like, um, like the effects of Adderall and like everyone should get it or something like that. And we have, you know, these days a pill for everything, so why not a smart pill? And quite frankly, it's available and fairly easy to get diagnosed, so why not use it? It's a pretty slippery boundary and, and fluid to the point where the exact diagnostic criteria simply don't exist. But with every drug comes a risk, something most students don't consider. People can rely on it to the point where they'll feel like, I'm not going to be able to study unless I have this extra boost. A drug classified Schedule II by the DEA, the same category as cocaine, is nothing to be taken lightly. They can produce heart irregularities, seizures, um, uh, psychosis with high, high doses, um, accidental death. Though he is still not completely sure that he has ADD, today Zaros has a prescription. Once I see what I could do with it, it just kind of was like, why am I struggling with this, struggling with this, and then not getting any results when I could spend a quarter of the time and get a better grade? In Steve's opinion, anyone can benefit. Adderall is just like a modern miracle that makes everyone smarter. For BU TV 10, this is Alexa Dragumis reporting.